Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode, I talk about relative automation. How this is working and how you can do that, I'll show you now. Let's get started. So I prepared a little clip with the Search XT synthesizer and this sounds like that. Okay, so now I moved um, the cutoff with my mouse a little bit around and uh, normally you would like to automate such things though so you touch uh, the cutoff for example and then you add oh there's already an automation then you add an automation lane that is normally here as a meaty cc as well so this close the search and this is my automation lane and now i could just automate for example the first the first notes and if i play now this little tune you see the, the automation is running so now when i play it and i'm um, fiddling around on this parameter there's the flag uh, on where it um, shows you that the automation is stopped or that one automation is stopped and in this case it's this one there is the green light <clears throat> and the green light tells you that there's something stopped and um, um, there are sometimes um, situations where I don't want that that uh, modulation is stopped only because I'm fiddling around on the knobs. I'm not sure if this is enough, if I should start a little bit higher and go higher or lower. Or, you never know. So what you can do in this in this context is let me cl oh, let me close that again. So I just delete that modulation and click on the uh, clip and then I click down here on the automation editor panel or in my case I click on shortcut A and now I see that so this is the same as if you would um, select wait where is my filter cutoff there this is the same as you would um, paint in here the model why is it disappearing um paint it in here so you see this is what i painted right now and this is the absolute uh, automation <clears throat> but in this automation detail editor panel there's automation type and uh, right beside that automation type there are three icons the first one is the absolute toggle <laughs> on the info bar the absolute toggle then there is a toggle and there's another toggle so the, <laughs> the first one is the absolute automation the second one if i increase that there's a plus and the third one there's a multiply sign so the plus indicates this is a relative automation so the first one is an absolute an a a plus a relative additive um, modulation and this is a mu multiplying modulation so if i choose the additive i could now start with a filter cutoff and modulate something in here like uh, this one or maybe like this so this and go higher for example go down like this go like this this there i again <clears throat> and a little mountain at the end so we see in this area there's still an absolute modulation going on here i don't want to see that right now so you see in this area there is this um, a relative modulation that i painted in here so um, if I now s open uh, search again and go here 
And where's my color? My filter is over there. Um, and I play this little clip now. You see the relative modulation of the relative um, automation. Even if it's moving in here, I can put it on a completely different place and I don't have um, a stop automation sign over here, this one. So I can use that um, and try it out. Do I like it like that or that? Or like this one or completely um, full? Or I could use it in a, in a, a live situation where I'm performing something so I could do like that or what I can do as well is I use this um, automation what I painted in here and add it to an absolute um, automation see here the relative automation is following the absolute um, automation for example oops that was a little bit too much just wanted to select all the nodes on here like that and as well if you use the multiplying you're just adding some more this as well the filter you're adding some more modulation no automation modulation you automate and modulate <laughs> um, over here and if I move this here around this is what it's doing now so you you could you could use this to um, put in some relative automation and additive and multiplying automation uh, on top of each other and for sure you could add a absolute modulation as well like this one if you like to like this or you don't like to use an automation like that come on automation like that and just use for example um, an LFO or something to modulate it uh, instead of doing it with a mouse like that so at the end you do this This is really nice. I totally forgot about that feature. Um, I think I uh, stumbled upon it a long time ago and I'm not really sure if it uh, works those days. I, I, I stumbled across that feature, but um, uh, thank you Jürgen for pointing me to that feature again, because this is really great. And I will look if, um, in which project I can use that. Okay, so if you like that video, if you like that information, please uh, like and subscribe and please comment, share my videos, everything you do with my videos helps me and if you like my videos, you should do something with my videos that maybe comes back to my channel or something, I don't know. Okay, I wish you a really great time, um, stay healthy and I hope I see you soon again, um, see you, ciao, ciao.